Hello and welcome. We are discussing previous year questions of number system and the theme is special cases of divisibility rules. Okay. Now we have discussed two problems. I think one problem already. Okay. And this pattern. Let's talk about this question that was there in CSAT 2021. And the problem says the number, the number three seven nine eight one two five P three six nine. The number three seven nine eight one two five P three six nine is divisible by seven. So this use number is divisible by 7. Then what is the value of digit P? So for dealing with this problem, you should know the divisibility rule of 7. Now there is a rule, there is a chain associated with divisibility rule of 7. Let's understand that chain first. So, in that chain, there are certain set of numbers that we have to memorize. Numbers are 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 1, 2, 3. These are the 6 numbers that we have to memorize. Now, I want to check whether a particular number is divisible by 7 or not. For example, I want to check is 147 divisible by 7 or not. Is 147 divisible by 7 or not. Since 147 is a very small number, so there is no need to apply this divisibility rule of 7 over here. You can simply check it out with the help of this simple division. 147. 7 2s are 40. 7 1s are 7. Hence, 147 is completely divisible by 7. So, just to understand this chain, let's try to verify whether 147 is divisible by 7 or not. Let's use this chain. I want to check is 147 divisible by 7 or not. So, what will I do? I will start writing down the digits of the given number. Given number was 147. So, I will write one of the number below the first digit of the chain, four of the number below the minus 2 of the chain and seven of the number below the minus 3 of the chain. Now, since in the in 147 only three digits are present so i will use only three digits of the chain minus 3 into 7 is what minus 21 so vertically down we will multiply minus 2 into 4 is what minus 8 and 1 into 1 is what 1 now find out this result 1 minus minus 8 and minus 21 minus 8 and minus 21 is minus 29 Plus 1 is what? Minus 28. If your result irrespective of the symbol, irrespective of the symbol, if your result, if this result is divisible by 7 or is 0, then I can say your given number will definitely be divisible by 7 for sure. See? 28. Now, is 28 divisible by 7? Yes. That is why 147 will be divisible by 7 for sure. Now, suppose in your, in your number, number of digits are more than 6. For example, 1010001. See, in the chain, how many digits were there? 6. But 
the number that whose divisibility you want to check with 7 is having more than 6 digit see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so what will you do you will repeat these six digits of this series again. So start start writing from one. So one minus two minus three minus one two three. If your numbers, if your sorry, if your digits in the numbers are exceeding six, then repeat these six digits of this series one more time. Okay, now map them like this. One digit of the number below the one digit of the series. Map like this. Okay, and vertically down you will multiply. Vertically down what you will do? You will multiply. Now see, minus 3 into 1 is minus 3 minus 1 into 2 is minus 2, 1 into 1 is positive 1, 3 into 0, 0, 2 into 0, 0, minus 1 into 0, 0, minus 3 into 1, minus 3, minus 2 into 0, 0 and finally 1. Now check out this result. Check out this result. See, minus 3, minus 2 and minus 3. It becomes minus 6, minus 3, minus 2, minus 3. Sorry, it becomes minus 8. See, minus 3, minus 2, minus 3. It becomes minus 8. Positive 1, positive 1 be becomes positive 2. So, the result is minus 6. Now, irrespective, irrespective of this sign, tell me, is 6 divisible by 7? No. Which means this huge number, this huge number will not be divisible by 7 for sure. I hope guys you have understood this. Okay. Now let's, let's check it out. Let's try to solve this question. Now in this question it is given that 3, 7, 9, 8, 1, 2, 5, P, 3, 6, 9, 3, 7, 9, 8, 1, 2, 5, P, 3, 6, 9. This huge number is divisible by 7 for sure. Check out how many digits are there in this number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, in the chain of 7, we have memorized only 6 digits. Digits were 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 1, 2, 3. Since number of digits in the number are more than 6, so we will repeat these Six digits of the chain one more time. So, 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 1, 2, 3. After it, we will do the mapping. So, one digit of the number below the one digit of the series. Now, vertically down, we will multiply. Two nines are 18. Minus 1 into 6, minus 6, minus 3 into 3, 9, minus 2 into P, minus 2P, minus, uh, sorry, 1 into 5, positive 5, 3 into 2, positive 6, 2 into 1, positive 2, minus 1 into 8, negative 8, minus 3 into 9, minus 27, minus 2 into 7, minus 14, and 1 into 3, positive 3. Now, it is given that it is given that this huge number was divisible by 7 for sure. So, the result obtained must be divisible by 7. So, let us check out what is the result here. See, positive 3, positive 2, 
पॉजिटिव सिक्स पॉजिटिव फाइव तो थ्री प्लस टू इज फाइव प्लस सिक्स इलेवन प्लस फाइव इलेवन प्लस फाइव इज सिक्सटीन सिक्सटीन प्लस पॉजिटिव एटीन इज पॉजिटिव थर्टी फोर डन ना नेगेटिव माइनस फोर्टीन माइनस ट्वेंटी सेवन इज माइनस फोर्टी वन माइनस एट माइनस फोर्टी नाइन माइनस नाइन माइनस फिफ्टी एट माइनस सिक्स माइनस सिक्सटी फोर माइनस टू पी नाउ दिस बिकम्स थर्टी फोर माइनस सिक्स इज नेगेटिव थर्टी नेगेटिव टू पी आई नो दिस नंबर दिस रिज नंबर वॉज डिविजिबल बाय सेवन That is why this result must be divisible by seven for sure. Now let's check out for which value of p, for which value of p out of these given option the result is divisible by seven. Let's put value of p to be equal to one first. If we put value of p to be equal to one, so it becomes minus thirty minus two into one, which comes out to be equal to. Which comes out to be equal to minus thirty two. Now, irrespective of the sign, is thirty two divisible by seven? No. Hence, value of p cannot be one. Okay. Let's put value of p to be equal to six. It comes out to be equal to minus forty two. Irrespective of the sign, tell me, is forty two divisible by seven? Yes. So for p to be equal to six, this result is divisible by seven. Hence, we have justified the condition of the question. That is why the right answer of this question has to be choice p. I hope, class, you have understood the divisibility rule of this seven properly, and this question is clear to you. Thank you.